Hi, uh, today we're going to go over how to use the new Godot 4 tile map uh, scene tiles to instantiate child scenes without having to do custom code and placeholders. Um, I'm currently in the middle of transitioning my project from the old format to the new format. Uh, I've basically been following a book, uh, a book of Godot tutorials and this tile, tile map one uh, originally used tile names uh, and a special tile layer to do scene instantiation. So for example, each of these coins here is a is a scene that needs to be instantiated to uh, run in the game. Um, I've already done the, the coins and most of the pickup, but I'm going to go ahead and do the enemies as an example today. Uh, the initial route was to have a, spe a specific tile set up for the enemies, these little red triangles. Uh, I actually used the custom uh, tile set data for it. So in the custom data you have the name or the tile type is enemy spawn. Um, I also have player spawn, key, etc. Um, so these red ones are the enemy spawn. What I'm going to do is set up a... I'm going to go into this uh, scene collection source, which all I did here was I went to add source and instead of an atlas I just went to scenes collection. Uh, I can add another one here uh, so you can have multiples in each tile map. I don't really need this extra one. Get rid of it. And you can see the existing uh, scenes are already set up here. Looks like the previews aren't working quite right in, uh, in the beta quite yet, but uh, it does show up properly in the map and it does seem to run properly. Um, so in the game currently, for this level, uh, if you go in here, uh, I have a spawn item that gets called in ready, where I basically go through all of the uh, cells in the items layer and call spawn item on that cell. Uh, I just look up the tile data, and I for each of the for the cell type, I'm looking up any enemy spawn in this case, and I just create an enemy scene instance, and I add it to the tile map. Uh, so instead of that, I'm going to actually go ahead and just comment this out, and then I'm going to go into the tile map here, uh, go into the scene collection source, make sure I'm in the tile set. So you're adding the tile set itself, and then I'm going to go to the enemy, find the enemy scene here, which is just enemy.csn, drag it over, and you have the enemy scene as a tile. Now if you go to the tile map, I can click enemy here, make sure I'm on the items level, or items, uh, this is just the tile set layer, and then for each of these red things here, I'm going to go ahead and pop the enemy in. And you can see it actually shows a preview of the the scene more than just a, that little marker there. Uh, and actually, because that was pretty standalone, uh, I should that should just work. Yeah, and you notice know, enemies are spawning just as they did before. Um, it's pretty straightforward to use. I actually, I like it pretty well. Um, it essentially just places a Node 2D in the spot for that tile. And the enemy scene is pretty simple. It's just a sprite, collision shape, animation player, some recasts, um, and very simple uh, movement stuff. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for these. They're, they're relatively straightforward. I think they're pretty easy to use. Um, thank you for watching.